In this very short tutorial, we're just going to compare the difference between textured and non-textured objects and the importance that the textures play a part in your scene. So here's this texture that I just created in the previous tutorial using that purple background and the yellow background. And the reason I was doing that was because, if you recall, I had them separated and I was able to do this these ellipses separately. Well, I can so save those to a separate file, or I might make a sequence of, you know, five or six ellipses that define a nice leaf pattern a little bit nicer, and then I can save that separately. So then that in and of itself, I've encapsulated into just a file or two, and then I've made my textured backgrounds like this I've encapsulated, so that I can just mix and match them at will. So it, it really is more powerful. But now let's see what happens if you just take this texture and we Use, I'll go cut out the uh, I'll cut out the texture. Notice I have here I'm running between glass and diffuse, but I'm it's looking at a all diffuse surface right now. But the texture is overriding it, so I'm going to disconnect the uh, texture from these materials. Let's see what happens. All right, so now this I still have this I had preset this to approximate the color in advance. So let's take a look at that versus what it looks like with the texture. Like that so you can really see even these little let's look in here this little detail just these little patterns in here like this I can't know if you can see it as well with their video recording but the just you know imagine your scene with this nice colors nice lighting this is kind of poor lighting but you know or versus using a texture to help bring it to life all right so textures make a huge huge difference throughout your entire scene and so you can find a lot of photographic textures out there to a great extent. Really what I'm doing is I'm trying to provide a great deal of mathematical based textures and these are my simple textures. I have many more styles of textures that I use that are much more advanced mathematically and that's why I don't have the program out there as a separate program. But um, you'll get to see a lot of that as I get the, develop the textures developed and put into libraries on my sci-fi animator.com website starting in February. Okay, all right, well, that's for now, and I'll see you in the next video.